we're trying something a bit new. I've just figured out that I can I can record from two cameras at once. So you're up there on my Mac computer, but you're also up there on my uh, cameras, rather. Um, I don't know how well this is going to work because that camera doesn't zoom. So what I have to do later on is crop it. So yeah, it's. But I'm I'm giving it a try. So <laughs> let's see how it goes. Thankfully, it will be cropped down to sort of about here, and you won't actually see the shithole mess that is everywhere else. <laughs> So let's get on with today, shall we? I really hope this works because this is quite cool. Although, you know, you'll be staring at the top of my head, so that might not be quite cool for you. I don't know. <laughs> of course, the trick is, is to not look at the screen, but to look there at the camera so that I look like I'm looking at you. It's a bit glary because my light is also right there. I need to move that up out of the way as well, but we'll get there, don't worry. Okay, so um, I did the challenges yesterday. Yay me. Uh, booze, fizzy, caffeine and chips. Didn't have chips. I didn't craft. But I did do the other three. How are you? Are you all having a good day? Um, I hope you are. Um, Oh, that's for today. I already did last night, so that's alright then. <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. I went to sleep so late after mucking around this bloody thing last night. It was about 3am I think before I went to sleep. Um, right, let's pull up my Fitbit. Yeah, 3.05. <laughs> but I did 21,000 steps, so that's good. Right, so 21,000. I might eventually have to get a overhead camera with a decent zoom. Sorry, my dog's wandering around the house and she goes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, as she's wandering and I'm like, shh. Didn't do the worktops or sweep the floor because like I said, I just left all the dinner stuff out. So, all oh, that is up to date and we did that. So, we're doing really, really well. Time to change the pan. This is quite a pale one, so I hope it shows up. I can never remember. I must have gone through this pack about five times by now, and I can still never remember which pens show up and which ones don't. I just have to mark them. Okay, so we need to do the weather. Yay, weather! So we pull up my phone. I use AccuWeather. Oh, we've got clouds and sun and all that stuff. But only a wee bit of cloud. So have over here it's weird though because that camera is flipped and I don't know how to change that so you know I'm I'm not gonna so let us do do a wee bit of cloud up here like that because it is only wee cloud I suspect you can probably hear Daryl going woohoo in the background. So um, Amanda asked me on yesterday's video how you're getting on with the Mac. It's not the first Mac I've ever owned. I've owned a Mac Mini for a long time. Gosh, couldn't tell you how long I've owned a Mac Mini for. Quite a while. And um, I love it. I've always loved Macs. Um, I love Apple products. Uh, my ex doesn't. Uh, he thinks they're overpriced hype and while I agree yes they are overpriced um, I'm still an apple girl that's just the way it goes 13 degrees isn't that lush right sunrise was 0631 and sunset is going to be 1945 or 7.45pm for those of you who don't follow a 24 hour clock should. Why don't you follow 24 hour clock? Right, I put all my pencils away yesterday, which is probably a big mistake because I won't remember what colour does what. So I want that one. I don't really want a grey because the clouds aren't grey, they're white floofy clouds today. Well, there's a little bit of grey. So we'll put a little bit of grey in. 
she says, looking out the window. You want to know what the weather is? Look at the fucking window. <laughs> Why do we need phones for this? So let's give it a little bit of a little bit of grey on the old border there. I don't know what Daryl's playing, but it sounds like it's loads of fun. So far today, I've been Wonder Woman and Robin to his Batman. It's a very important job, you know. If you guys like this method of the video being done, I wonder if we could do it like this way for the live. Oh, that might be quite good. Although I have found out, because I can't use the software that I'm used to using, I'm going to have to have chat open in a web browser and oh, it just might totally confuse me. I'm used to doing it through um, Streamlabs OBS, which basically did everything. It did your your chat, it did your streaming, it did all of that, but Mac doesn't use Streamlabs OBS. So I have to switch over to like the more basic version that Mac does support. That's the weather done. Yay! Okay. So I have cleaned the loo. Oh yeah, that one's not too bad. I think this one picks up black though, doesn't it? Which I get so annoyed about. Okay. Ooh! Nino, Nino, Nino. Right, cards. My cards live up there, so hang on. Right. I'm sorry about any wobble. I don't know why the overhead camera is wobbling because the only part of it that is touching anything is where it's plugged into the back of the cable, uh, back of the Mac. It is not touching the um, computer, it's not touching the table, it's nothing. But yeah, I go like that and it wobbles. So the only thing I can think of is that the vibration from the Mac is um, sending it all the way through, but it just seems a bit weird, you know? Okay, so you spread them out. And you pick whichever one appeals, and that one appeals to me today. Oh, it's a page of pentacles. There again. Okay, so as you can see, there is a young man. Is that one today? And he's tossing a coin about which way to go. He does have a map. <laughs> he's ready. Seems a bit of a frivolous choice, really, doesn't it? You've got all the info you need, so why are you tossing a coin? Um, right, we're using the Greenwich Tarot, which is pen um, 606. Pardon me, uh, which I think is that one. No, that's 636. I hate when I do that. I hate this bloody Tombow pen holder thing. It's great because it keeps them all in order, but I can never get it back in, um, in straight, you know? So that one must be 606. Yes, it is. And it's the sixth day. Yeah, I need to actually move my light because whenever I look at my um, screen, my light is literally just poking over the top of it and I'm photosensitive, so it gives me a headache to look up, which is insane, but there you go. Okay, so page of pentacles. I've put, are you making a coin toss decision why you have all the info needed? Over there, my pocket case. Okie dokie, that we will do in the evening edition tonight. Yes, the evening edition is back. Right, uh, okay, so yeah, 3.05 till 8 o'clock. Yeah, 8 o'clock, bloody clock, Daryl come and wake me up. I was not amused. I was like, go away, there's no school, go back to bed. And he was like, time to get up, mummy, the sun is shining, and I want my breakfast, or breakfast, as he calls it. I was like, oh, you're a horrible child. There you go, you can't see that, but there you go. I actually slept quite well. Thankfully, my um, electric blanket has an auto cutoff feature because um, it was a bit cold when I went to bed. It got really, really cold about two o'clock. And um, I fell asleep with it on. But it turned itself off. Oh, 
myself off, which is because the amount of times I've done that is just I've only just remembered that I actually fell asleep with it on. So okay, so we said the steps were 21522, which was 8.9 miles. Awesome, I'm loving it with the silver pen. I don't know how you guys can see that. Groovy, groovy. So far today, I have cleaned the loo and checked the laundry. Oh, it's clean the oven day today. Yeah, well, that ain't gonna happen. Um, I've got my apple sticker there, but I think I might draw around it because you can't actually see it. I mean, I can see it, but you guys can't really. So I might I risk it, see if I can do it. I've got another one, so if I fuck it up, I can always take it off and put another one on. That worked really well. <laughs> it didn't slip over once, that was really good. Right, okay. So we now need to do the stencil. Uh, so we need number six for today. I don't answer no call ID phone calls. If you're not going to give me your name, then um, I don't want to know. Now I've got to find watermelon because <laughs> that's the next one I want to do. Although I'm wondering if watermelon's one of the ones that's knackered. No, it's there. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to phone up and not actually like show me your number, then why the fuck should I answer? Although, to be quite honest, I don't answer numbers I don't recognise because nine times out of ten, there are people going, Oh, have you been involved in an accident? Or, you know, would you like life insurance or some sort of bollocks? And I'm like, no, fuck off. And besides, if they want to talk to me that badly, they'll leave me a message. Oh, I really hope this isn't wobbling the table too much. I apologise if it is. Um, if it is, I will be through it. Ta-da! Yay! I need to find out why that is wobbling. Everything is making it wobble. And it wasn't doing it before. Get my son on the case. Because it is literally, it's not touching anything. It's just the wire plugged into the camera. So it shouldn't be wobbling. Yeah, see, I wasn't even touching the table then. I shut the drawer on a chest of drawers that's not even connected. So Christ knows why that's wobbling. It'd be really fucking annoying if it does that a lot. I'll have to come up with a new idea. I might buy like a microphone arm and attach my camera, you know, get a proper camera. Because that little thing up there is very cheap. I suppose that's something I could put on my wish list, isn't it? Yeah, see, now that, that I've just shot is a Calyx unit attached to my desk. Okay, it's a Calyx unit over there and it's attached to my desk. But the mic isn't touching it. The only thing the mic is touching is a USB plug in the back of the Mac. And my lamp, I've just realised. Oh. Hmm, I wonder if that will... Uh, that's a bit of it to stop moving. It was my lamp. My lamp is what was making the camera move. Oh, a genius. Right, back to it. <laughs> okay, so we're up to date. Um, I'm off to drop off uh, my old computer to my daughter's house. I'm gonna um, sort this out so that the lamp is a lot further away. Cause like I said, it is literally like, it is just peeking over the top of the screen like that. And every time I look up, I've got a face full of, yeah, and I just, it's giving me a headache. Right, hopefully this works. It's a test, okay? If not, oh well, never mind. <laughs> and I won't do it again. Do you like this? Do you like seeing my face up there? Um, is this something you would only want to see during the lives? Is this something like, you know, hell no, we don't want to look at your face. Um, whatever, you know, let me know. 
and we'll take it from there, okay? Um, I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you for the evening edition. Take it easy, guys. Bye. It's weird. Do I do it that way or do I go up there? And it's weird because it's reversed. So anyway, see you later. So I'm a bit annoyed really because I filmed this whole fantastic video and imported it into iMovie and then found out that for some reason the sound hadn't recorded. How clever am I? Anyway, I'm going to do a voiceover and hope I don't screw it up too much. So to finish off today I opened the tracker and I was trying to find a pen and I just decided to show some of the random crap that was on my desk. So I got a ribbon and a phone charger and moved all that out of the way and then showed you my guilty pleasure of knickknacks. Those are like potato chips, I don't know if you have them. And, and my empty bag of M&Ms. Shh, don't tell anybody. They're my downfall. And then I went on to tell you that that didn't matter because I managed to pull my jeans off without undoing the buttons yesterday. <laughs> this is my pen case. Um, it's got a little planner addict pin and a little TARDIS. Uh, my son and I won the TARDIS at a competition um, for Doctor Who Day, I think it was, um, gosh was it last summer? So yeah, I just thought I'd show that off. <laughs> um, and I bought Wendy one of those little planner addict pins as well, I believe she keeps all hers on like a pin board. This is all the crap that's in the first pocket, that is my colour coding key. Um, and all the pens are in the big bit at the back, then I've got my little round protractor thingy my bob which um, I so far haven't used. Then I had the rings, those were for my binder, so I decided actually I wasn't gonna put those back in there. And then the colour wheel that Amanda sent me, which is incredibly useful. And that all fits in a little pocket. That in there is a syringe, which I use for filling up my fountain pens. On the left is my Trisby, then I've got my Pilot, then I've got an old Parker pen. Then I have got a little mini, 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 mini fountain pen which I scrabbled about looking for, and it's right there in the middle. It's, it's, no, go back the other way. Go back the, in the, there it is. See, there it is, look. Look how dinky it is. It's so tiny. It's really cool, I love that pen. But it's really thick, and it doesn't fit in the elastics, and I'm worried it would damage the elastics if I forced it. I keep all my Pit Artist pens in that side. Um, I have an XS, an S, an F, and a B. I also have my Fudunuseki pen and a uni pen in 0.05. Then in there I have a Uhu or a Uhu glue stick, I'm not quite sure you know how other people pronounce it. I say Uhu, that works for me. Um, do you guys have that in the States? Because I know that Amanda didn't know what the Prit stick was, so um, I had to send her a picture. <laughs> um, then I have, this is a, a pen eraser. You know, you put a long sort of eraser in it and you can click it out like a mechanical pencil. I have a couple of pairs of scissors. Then there are all of these pens that Jolyn sent me and I love them. I love them lots. They are fantastic pens. There are 14 different colors. Those are the little erasers that go in the eraser pen but when they get down to a certain length they just fall out so they end up living in the bottom of my pen case. That's my white out pen. And then I've got some Erin Condren pens. That is an extremely old mechanical pencil. It's a 0.7 I believe and I've had it since I was about nine years old, eight or nine years old. So yeah, it's, it's quite old. It's held together with tape and Christ knows what else. I've got my craft knife, another pair of scissors. <laughs> well, I've got three pairs of scissors. Um, my 0.3 mechanical pencil, a couple of bone folders, more Erin Condren pens, and that's, oh yeah, I've got some sticky tape, a tape runner thing, you know, little mini one. And that's, 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 that's pretty much it. And it all lives in my pen case with my crappy moldable rubber thing, eraser thing. And it lives just over to the side. So there you go. So this is the pen for today and I'm just going to get on with my day and actually fill out my tracker because, you know, I'm sure you found that really not that interesting. But I love seeing what other people carry about in their pen case. I don't actually carry it, it's just a way for me to store everything without losing it all. Oh, this was me saying to you about how 
for this new setup I've got it sorted now that I don't have to crop it and zoom it in because my son actually taught me how to use the software I record on. Um, uh, it's encouraging me to sit up straight rather than lean right over so that you're not actually looking at the top of my head. So it's a very, very clever setup. I was quite pleased with it. So I'm just filling in. Um, I did. I wore my day face cream. I didn't wear makeup. I've done the challenges. No booze. I did have fizzy and caffeine, and I didn't fill any of the rest of it in. So now we're going on to my mood and my pain trackers. This is where I explain why I just dump shit on my desk. Basically, because it's all elasticated, it requires two hands for me to put each pen away. And I just feel like I'm constantly leaning across the screen to do it. So, yeah. So my mood has stayed about the same, really. Which I'm quite happy about. It's been a bit of a tough week. And thankfully my pain hasn't changed too much today. Excuse the coughing. That's little on his monitor. Sleep and steps will be updated a bit later on. This is my cleaning tracker. Um, yeah, this is me showing you it takes two hands to put everything away. See, it just gets stuck on the elastic, which is a pain in the ass. It's already the elastic starting to fray. But I've just got this big compartment in the bottom, and that's why I like it, because I just chuck everything else in there. It the That page isn't removable, but there were like two other pages in, and they were removable, which is great, because it just gives me this big pouch to put everything in. So, right, here we go. Um, I didn't do much, I must admit. I went out to see my daughter today. I haven't done much in the way of chores or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, not got a lot done. But I'm not going out tomorrow. I'm gonna to have a lazy day at home. So what we're thinking is, is that, um, or what I was thinking was that I can do all of my chores tomorrow. I can catch up. I didn't clean the oven. I didn't vacuum downstairs. But that's cool because I will do all of that tomorrow. I'll do the windows that I haven't done. So there's Daryl's window, which I was supposed to do yesterday. My window, which I was supposed to do today. And then the bathroom window tomorrow. That can all get done tomorrow. That's absolutely fine. So I'm not too worried about that. Then we moved this week and I just checked a few things off, checked through things. Amanda's live was today. Oh, this was me saying that um, she moaned because I hadn't shown you my 100 days of Zentangles. But I figured that the Zentangles I did in the live probably covered me Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And um, that I had also done another little one in my journal on the 4th, I think it was, the 3rd rather. Um, I did a little, you know, one evening sat watching YouTube. So I did, I did that and I finished colouring that in while watching her live. But then because she moaned at me, I skipped to the end of the book and I caught up. These are her prompts. Um, I can't quite remember where you get them from. I think you can get them from the Bujo Junkies group on Facebook. Um, they're a PDF in the files section. Um, Amanda, honey, if you watch this, could you please confirm that down in the comments? Um, I didn't watch her video. She has got a video and I will link to it um, showing you how she does it, um, she, calls, she calls it Step Out, I believe. And um, I didn't watch it, I couldn't watch it at the time, I can't remember why. So I just Googled it, and her, Lara, Lara Lena, or whatever it's called, yeah, Lara Lena, which is the next one along, which I'm about to point to in a second, looks completely different from mine. So, um, yeah, that's the Laurelina there. Mine looks different, 
but that's what I found when I googled it. So I'm going to um, find hers on Pinterest, I hate Pinterest, but I'm going to find hers and then I'm going to also draw her one as well, so there you go. And then this is just me showing you the other ones that were on the list. Um, she got one called Sulika, I believe it is. And then she's got one called a pretty one, um, an untitled vine and fluffy. So hopefully I'm all up to speed and, <laughs> you know, I can uh, copy the rest of them as we go. So I'm just going to get on and get today's page ready. I wrote it in the word, you can't see it very well because the colour is quite pale. I drew a tulip and an allium. Um, I thought I'd use orange for the tulip because I don't know why orange tulips always look fantastic to me. Uh, this is not very well drawn one, I must admit. Um, but you know, I had a little play with trying to make bits a bit darker. And then for the allium, I used the lilac that is in the pastels paint palette from Prima. This is just me showing you my Poppins mug um, that was what my book was based upon. Um, I sent photographs and a short video of my mug off to um, Ugly Bug Plans who no longer make tea and notebooks sadly and um, asked her if she could make me a custom notebook and her fabulous husband Trevor sent me that a week later. I was astonished. I love that it all matches. So I'm just checking here for what the word of the day is and it was beautiful. Okay guys that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this. I'm so sorry about the mess up. Leave me a comment, thumbs up and I'll see you next time.